Listen up, everybody who lives in Maryland. And if you don't live in Maryland, please share this video with anyone that you know that lives in Maryland or is registered to vote in Maryland. This person I'm showing you right here is William C. Smith Jr. He is a Maryland state senator and he has proposed a bill that will make it legal to kill newborn babies up to a month in age. Newborn babies that are murdered under a month in age, there will, if this passes, there will be no uh, police investigation because they are, they would be non-humans under this bill. Um, it would just be perfectly fine to let them die. Um, so let's talk about William Smith, C. Smith Jr. for a moment. He seems to be a eugenicist. When I typed his name and then put images, this is one of the first images that came up, and it's a picture from 2019 of his supporting assisted suicide. So he doesn't only want babies to die. He wants anyone who is having a hard time to die. He wants people with mental illness, depression, to off themselves. He wants people who are struggling with cancer and in brutal pain to be able to kill themselves. Um, and... He doesn't want it to be like investigated or prosecuted if there, if this, if this assisted suicide looks like it was actually a murder. He doesn't want that to happen. He is a eugenicist. Where did he come from? Um, he went to this school called the Barry School. It's in the DC metro area in Maryland. Um, it's a very, very high end school. The toddler tuition cost more than the tuition, um, an annual tuition for my graduate school program. The upper school, 9 to 12, cost $35,000 a year. Isn't that around the median income for Americans, $35,000 a year? But that's just tuition at your kid's high school, not college, high school. On Wikipedia, it says, with his parents' support, he became the first family member to attend college, kind of trying to make it look like he pulled himself up by his bootstraps. And that very well may be true. Uh, maybe his parents didn't go to college, but they are clearly an incredibly connected DC family with a lot of means. Let's go back to the bill. So there's definitely going to be fact checkers that say false. It doesn't allow for infanticide because, you know, it doesn't mention infanticide in the bill. But what it does mention is this term perinatal. It's important that you know what perinatal means. Perinatal is ref a reference to the time around birth. Usually, we're talking about the last trimester and the first month a baby is born, um, you know, up to like 20 or 30 days of life after they're born. So, okay. Nothing in this section shall be construed to confer personhood or any rights on the fetus. Yeah, so if you are experiencing a miscarriage, which no one... No one, why is that even in there? No one prosecutes women for experiencing a miscarriage. That's not something that happens. Um, perinatal death related to a failure to act or stillbirth. So perinatal death re um, related to a failure to act. So what they're saying is, no, it's not infanticide because you can't shoot your baby. You can't poison your baby. It's just okay if you let them die. If you just don't feed your baby, put your baby in the dumpster, just let the baby die by starvation and lack of care. That's what it is. So that's fine, right? It's not infanticide. Obviously, it's still infanticide. But I'm sure the fact checkers are going to say, no, it's not that. So don't listen to the propaganda fact checkers. Read the bill for yourself. Yeah, and again, it's just taking the rights away from... Um, a newborn baby already, of course, in this country, babies that are um, preborn, unborn babies, don't pretty much they're unprotected. You're just you just hope you have a pro-life mom, um, hope you have a mom who who doesn't want to kill you, and hope you have a mom that just isn't being propagandized to believe that you're not a human. This word fetus is mentioned nine times throughout. Uh, this bill, okay. Fetus is just a stage of development. 
A human is fully human as a, as a fetus. A human is fully human as an embryo, as a fetus, as an infant, as a toddler, as a child, as an adolescent, as an adult, as a senior citizen. A human is fully human through all stages of development. He or she has, referring to fetuses, he or she has their own DNA. A fetus is not part of a woman's body. They have a completely separate DNA than the mom. If a fetus were not a human, if the fetus were just part of the mom, then a pregnant woman who is pregnant with a boy baby would be partially male. But of course they're not. And in your heart, you know, everyone knows that abortion is wrong in their heart. Children are naturally pro-life. The only way people become pro-abortion is because they're told lies, they're told that a fetus is not a human, and they are indoctrinated by propaganda to believe that. The people like William C. Smith Jr., who only want elites kids to live, who only want wealthy kids to live, who doesn't want a vulnerable um, teenage mother with an unplanned pregnancy to consider her child to be fully human. These are the people promoting this idea and trying to brainwash people into believing that this is somehow about women's rights. Abortion has absolutely nothing to do with women's rights. I am a woman and right now I am concerned for women's rights in the United States. We are experiencing some new forms of oppression due to transgender ideology. You know, Title IX was completely abolished essentially as soon as Biden took office, he made, basically, he's trying to make it that you just have to say that you're a woman and then you are given access to women's spaces that, you know, you could, if you're in prison, you know, the most vulnerable women in the United States, women in prison and women in domestic violence shelters have no protection from male rapists who say that they're women just because they say so. Of course, it's completely unscientific, as it is unscientific to say that a fetus is not a human, as it is unscientific to say that a fetus is part of her body, meaning the mom's. There's, this is not scientific. It's religion, and it is a religion based on human sacrifice, child sacrifice, infant sacrifice, just like an uncounted number of pagan religions have been in the past, it's no different. It's just another pagan religion based on human sacrifice. Marylanders, am I saying that right? Are you Marylanders? Don't let this happen. Vote this guy out of office and vote anyone who votes in favor of Senate Bill 669 out of office. Let them know if they don't vote no, they're gone. Now, okay, Maryland, all our eyes are on you. Don't let this happen. Thank you so much for watching.